In this video, you're going to learn how to draw Among Us characters in my style. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I will show this design on an all over print and different ways that I would sell this as merch. What's up guys, Tony here. I am a professional graphic designer and brand developer. This channel is all about art and design related content. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, consider subscribing. First things first, reference. Before I start any piece that I work on, I grab some reference. Even if I know what I'm drawing or I've seen it before, I like to grab some reference. Something like this, or like this, maybe that, possibly that. And let's get started. First things first, I grab for my HB pencil. Always have that in the lineup. I have two mechanical pencils. Sometimes I run out of lead, so this just eliminates that whole possibility. I have two erasers and a brush on the side. When I draw, it takes me quite a bit of time, so I like to have a brush on hand so that I can make sure everything is clean, so I can uh, make sure that it's a smooth process from beginning to end. Now I'm blocking out the basic shapes of the form of the character, and I'm being mindful of the details that I found in the reference before. So I'm making sure that I have all those landmarks in there to make sure that this character looks accurate. At this point, I'll begin to erase some of the extra lines from the beginning as I got started because the basic form is there. Moving into this step, I'm adding additional details. I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I had intended for this character to be the imposter. So I wanted to create the alien life form within it. So I'm thinking to do tentacles, I'm thinking octopus, I'm thinking under the sea, that type of vibe. So I'm beginning to create those details here. I'm starting to develop the crack in the face mask of the character so that these tentacles can plow through and terrify all of the shipmates from the game. While I'm doing this, I'm thinking about some of the reference that I had previously. I'm thinking about perspective. I'm thinking about how I can make this different and really crazy and really cool and uh, really speak to what I have in my mind and be accurate with the reference as well. So I'm cleaning up. At this point, I have most of my main lines in there. So I'm gonna start going into doing some details. At this point, I'm just kind of doing the suction cups throughout the form, making sure that they're all in the right perspectives. I later go on to add thorns within them just to take it over the edge and make it intimidating. I found that puffer fish always have these intimidating spikes and I thought, what would it be like to add that to this character? So I, experiment I experimented with that idea and added them throughout the picture. One thing to me that I love when it comes to drawing is the details. Adding in those details, adding in those like intricacies, that to me is like the golden part of the drawing. So at this point I'm going in and I'm making sure all of the lines are sharp and clean. That's like my favorite thing to do. I'm remembering some of the reference and just trying to make sure that it's staying true to that. I'm going in and just refining some of the details that I started to lay down earlier in the drawing at this point. Now I'm taking a picture of it. I used to scan my drawings, but I found that this works so much better. I can go within the tablet in this example and I can just fix the image up if I have any issues with the lighting or if I feel like it's too dark and it will come out similar to a scanner image now I'm dropping in the base colors obviously this imposter is red red is always sus in the game so duh I added some of the extra tentacles in the back in a different color just to push the perspective back a little bit more I'm adding in those black thorns. I thought that that was the best color for this to really make it intimidating. And I also wanted to use a lot of loud colors here uh, because that is something I just enjoy doing in general, having it be very colorful. I'm adding in some extra details within the suction. And then now I'm adding the inner belly of the imposter. 
at one point I begin to add some shadowing in there but I'm going to quickly abandon that but you're going to see here it is now adding some shadows in there trying to define the form I took the colors uh, the inner belly out because I want it to start to add that detail to make it a little bit more volume there but I found that it just ended up taking away and I didn't like it so I added some base colors stripped all of that away and I felt this spoke to what I wanted to accomplish better in my style this is the final reveal of the imposter I also added it to a keychain and a t-shirt this is how I would sell it if it was merch and I'm gonna bring it all together for this final image if you stuck in there till the end first of all thank you for watching this full video i hope that something that was said was helpful to you if something was said that was helpful please leave a like or a comment below letting me know what stood out to you in this video if you like this type of content feel free to subscribe would be happy to have you and if you want to be inspired further follow us on instagram at more creative tv we post inspirational content, all types of artists, varying different levels of experience. So come check us out. See you guys in the next video.